real quick before we get started here, I screwed up and um, yeah, I forgot to tell you guys how to ground pound, but I told you how to homing ground pound. Funny, huh? Anyway, what you need to do is jump with A and then press the Z button with the nunchuck. That is so freaking difficult. Anyway, into the terrace, because the last episode we got here to the Comet Observatory after collecting our first ground star, and we were told that we need more power stars from these observatory things, so let's talk to the Luma with an accent. Welcome. Why do I give this guy a weird accent every time? Welcome. This dome acts as an eye of the observatory. From here, we can gaze upon distant galaxies. Once this Luma transforms, transforms into a power star, or a pool star, excuse me, he will guide you to those faraway galaxies. Simply point your cursor at the pool star and press A. Luma's like, I don't want to do this. Poof. And goodbye, Blue Luma. That must have been the one I saw outside you last time. Anyway, so, let's do what he says. Point the cursor, press A. More tutorials. These are galaxies that can't be observed. These are galaxies that can be observed from this dome. The numbers represent their distance from the observatory. The bigger the number, the greater the distance. The more power stars you find, the further you'll be able to travel. And just so I know, I'm not good at any kind of accent, so, or just so you guys know, I'm not good at any kind of accent, so, yeah. So as you can see, this level we need eight power stars. This one, it's not specified, same with that one. This one we need three, but this one we need one, which we actually have, so, conveniently. So! Let's access it. Uh, come on. The good egg galaxy. Oh, what? Oh, another tutorial? Okay, I forgot about that. Yes, it's un... Bleh. Yes, it's undeniable. We're detecting power star energy patterns in the nearest galaxy. But I warn you that the evil energy readings are off the charts. Please be careful. So many accents for one Luma in such little time. Anyway. Off to good a galaxy. Here we go, guys. All right, our first star here is Dino Piranha. Let's just get on going. Yeah, they give you this nice overworld, the uh, overworld uh, look of the galaxy. If I could talk, that would be great. And uh, oh, hello, Star I forgot about you guys. And um, yeah. They basically just set you off on your grand adventure with five lives. Oh, hello, Starbit. How are you today? Anyway, Goomba! Er, oh uh, no, excuse me, these are off the Goombas. Uh, see, so squish them, get a coin. As soon as I find another enemy, I'll spin into them, and yeah, we'll get some Starbit here. Uh, so this level's not too bad, but the one main thing that I love about this game is the gravity in it. This gravity, the gravity mechanics in this game really showed what the Wii was capable of and some, does some crazy stuff to you, so. Like this, see? Woohoo! That was so corny. <sighs> Got it, anyway. So let's just use the gravity system and. Speed running tactics! I'm not talking to a Luma! Wait, what? No, no, I refuse to talk to you. Okay. Yeah, if you, um talk to that Luma, he'll turn into a launch star and base or a little sling star there and uh, basically sling you up into the launch star. Uh, you can cheat that by doing what I did there or long jumping properly from that uh, ramp thing and just manipulating the gravity to your liking. So, ouchies! Okay, these things are the reincarnation of Coca... The reincarnation of Coca Puffs from Ocarina of Time. Uh, except they have a weakness. See these little red orbs? Okay, that was a fail. Apparently, they're cherry coca buffs. Anyway, spin, spin, um, spin when the little red orb is there, and um, they will just get destroyed, and um, you'll get star bits. However, that only works when the uh, red orb is there. So keep that in mind. Ah, coca puffs. Okay, that was gonna get hit. Ooh, star chip must get. Uh, no. Okay, star chip got it. And there's our last star. <laughs> ah, come on! I'm not dying here. I refuse to. Oh god. Oh yeah, this mud stuff. Yeah, see, um, when you walk in it, it makes you all slow down, and you can't jump as well. And yeah. anyway, let's try and get out of the like red health. 
switch these things. All right, these things, if they latch onto you, um, they will basically suck on your head and just basically drain your energy. All right, to get rid of them, just spin. These question mark blocks can do, or question mark blocks, question mark coins can do a number of things. It can give you a bunch of coins, a bunch of star bits, all that fun stuff. Anyway, I stepped on you. Aha, piranha plant. I really just, uh, I, I was trying so hard not to say something there. A certain Let's Player's, uh, what he, what he says whenever the piranha plant bites at him and he kills it. <laughs> it was so, it was so tempting to say that. Ah, oh, dang it! Oh well, whatever. Anyway, down this pipe you get a little nice, a nice little secret here. This is not the way you're supposed to take, but here you see these uh, switches again. Except this time we're turning them from blue to yellow, so it's quite neat. Ooh, what up? Another Luigi! Because you can never have too many Luigis to go around. Okay, and we get. A launch star. I guess you could consider this a shortcut of ways, but I think it takes a little bit longer. Because I have a nice shortcut that basically does that job just a lot faster. But I wanted to show that off. Um, this thing here, it's invisible. As you can see, it's making prints in the sand. If I could catch up to it. Like, cut it off. There, gotcha. This thing gives you a whole crap ton of star bits. Like, that's all they give you. Star bits. You can jump on, you can spin on them, jump on them, spin them again, all they'll give you is star bits. Unlike with these guys where if you spin them, they give you star bits. If you jump on them, ouch, they give you coins. Now die. Come on. And let's go to the launch star. Oh yeah, um, sometimes when you're flying through the galaxy, um, star bits will be surrendered, uh, like will be around you and you can just use your cursor to collect them. So, and we cracked an egg. It has a tail. Okay. All right, basically what you need to do here is spin the tail. Or spin into the tail, excuse me. And it's Dino Piranha. The pink. Or, no, good. Actually, is he pink? Or is he purple? Hmm, perhaps he's fuchsia. The fuchsia dinosaur. Let's go with that. Oh, he's not fuchsia anymore. Aw, he's all red. He's red orange. We're going to go for unique colors here. No! Die. And he's dead. That's basically all you need to do on that boss. And he falls over with his fuchsia-ness and explodes into fuchsia smoke. Or perhaps it's puce. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway. Star. You got a power star. This is the first power star in the game, even though you already got a grand star, but who cares about that? Yeah. And with that, we get two stars. Two stars, ha ha ha. And more coins and more star bits. They basically go over this every single time. And it's where you get the chance to save your game, so yeah. Ah, Mr. Australian British Luma. Those, those star, bleh, bleh, bleh. those purple and multicolored things. Ah, oh, star bits. To Lumas, they're the t most. Bleh. I cannot read your lines today, Mr. Luma. Those multicolored things are star bits. To Lumas, they're the tastiest, most delectable treats imaginable. Amy will scream at the screen and pick them up with the cursor. Once you have something. Shoot them by aiming with the cursor and pressing B. Convenient star bits! Why don't we try it out? Aim at me and feed me some star bits. Will do. Oh, I wanted to get them all in one shot. Anyway, aim at him, give him the star bits. That tickles! Yum! Delicious! And that little fanfare means that we're done. Mmm, tasty! Let's call those little morsels my fee for this lesson. You can also shoot them at enemies or feed them to a hungry Luma. Either way, I'm sure Star Bits will be a big help to you on your adventure. Anyway, with that pointless tutorial over, let's head on to the next star in Good Egg Galaxy. Uh, so, um, as you can see, each galaxy has more than one star, obviously, I mean. <laughs> of course, a level needs to have more than one star. And this is basically where Star Bits become really important. 
This is a snack of cosmic proportions. Basically, you need a bunch of star bits in this level. Um, you can't use the star bits that you've already collected. You have to go in and you know collect a bunch of star bits. So start down here, point your cursor at the bottom of that planet to get a nice head start. Um, a nice little trick here is when you see grass glowing, walk in it and sometimes you get a coin, sometimes you get star bits. Anytime you see a circular pattern like this on the ground, get into the middle of it, get into the middle of it and spin. And there you go. All right, cheat the Goombas. Wait, back up. I thought there was a launch star up there. Oh, no, apparently not. Let's go down this orange pipe, and I believe this gives us a nice little secret. Uh, yeah, we got one of these uh, question mark blocks here. Or question mark coins, God. All right, this here is a, um... Thing where basically you gotta follow the musical notes and it basically plays classic tunes from old Mario games. This is the old, um, you know, underground theme that. And it gives you a one up. Woo! Alright, got it. Just exit out this thing. And we're back on top of the mushroom house. Lovely. Um, there's a way you could cheat. You could cheat your way up there, um, but I'll show you how to do that in another level. Ow! Hello, wall. Nice to see you today. All right, hello, Goomba. Die! Ah! Die! That was a very inconvenient Goomba. He wouldn't die. And I keep calling them Goombas when they're clearly Octa Goombas or whatever they're called. And he becomes not one but four powers. Or, uh, swing stars. So, let's just go into the launch star. Uh, there's a question mark block back there that has star bits. I completely forgot about it until I used the launch star. That's kind of why I hesitated there for a second. I was like, crap, should I go back to that? But, nope, we're not. And why did I jump on him when I need star bits? Alright, that's the launch star. Let's not get into that yet. Goomba die! Alright, these prickly things, don't touch them. Because they will hurt, as it's kind of implied. However, with this little balloon thing right here, you can spin into them and get some star bits. Oh god! However, if it hits you, you lose star bits. You can easily collect them again, but still. It's kind of inconvenient. Oh god! You almost got to see what that did uh, first hand there. <laughs> Alright, 50 star bits. Every 50 star bits in this game gives you a, l um, I almost said a level up. Uh, a one up. And I believe that was fixed in Galaxy 2. I think it was changed to every 100 star bits. Gives you a one up. Uh, I don't know. So, 68, 69, 70. Alright, we should have enough on the next planet. Uh, you could take this launch star right here to take a shortcut to the planet where the hungry Luma thing is, but we don't need that yet. Anyway, Sting Star! Ooh, that was cool. Alright, question mark block over here. Dang it! Uh, as you can see, question mark blocks, um, they give you star bits or coins, anything special like that. Sometimes they even give you one-ups, I believe. Alright, break this, and we fly. Possibly, okay. <clears throat> also, down there you could break the rocks for uh, star bits. But I didn't think it was really that necessary since I'm pretty sure we're gonna have more than enough here on this planet. And spin the Goomba. Kick. Alright, don't want to talk to you yet. That's the hungry Luma right there. Don't talk to him yet until you have a hundred. 99, 100! Yeah, let's collect these. Let's collect these just so we can have some star bits left over. And I don't care about you, so die. Alright. Hello, Hungry Luma. How are you today? Hey, you. Yeah, you. Got any tasty star bits? If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll, I'll burst with snacky happiness and then transform. I'm famished. I need 100 star bits to curb the hunger pangs. So, aim your cursor and feed him star bits. Yes, for force feeding a poor innocent star creature uh, little tiny candies. To the point where he transforms and explodes into something new and awesome. That's it, I'm stuffed. Here we go, transform! <clears throat> Hurt my voice now. Anyway. And he became a new planet. 
Hence why it said a new planet was born. Uh, I believe um, Hungry Lumas in the levels like this, actually, um, they take you to optional planets which uh, have um, which have power stars in them. However, this is the only one that's actually required, to my knowledge. I'll give you a better example of that later. Dude! Die. Alright. I would like to escape this LP with, like... I would like to at least have, like, one episode where I don't have death. And so far, we're not off to a good start. Alright, let's get up here. And launch star! I like how that past planet looked like a person with a free hat. That's what it always looked like to me. It looked like somebody wearing a free hat. And it had like, and it had like a snowman face. But anyway, star bits. And here we come over here to break this crystal. What the? I wasn't even aiming for you. Alright, down the hole. And here we have a new mechanic. See these arrows? Uh, this blue section? The arrows are pointing downwards. It's backflip. It's a backflip. And this red section, the arrows are pointing, you know, the other way. So, this is basically, um, color-coded gravity, uh, you know, changes. Uh, these are actually quite vital in the game. You will see them more than once, I think. Yeah, yeah, you will. And you will sometimes be upside down like this, so that's pretty cool. Uh, that thing's gonna crush me. Come on. Ooh, what up? Hello there. And up here, we got Goombas and Star Bits and Launch Star Fly! And here we have this little planet, um... Where you basically have to, uh, collect all of the, um... Starships here and create a Sling Star. However... You could also do this. Just launch, er, uh, long jump your way into the Power Star. And you get to the next Power Star in the game. Anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode since we're over the time limit. I'm going to try and keep these around 15 to 20 minutes. So, if you liked this episode, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And I will have more of Super Luigi Galaxy coming at you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Why is my capture card flashing? Wait, we're not done yet. I didn't see this coming. Well done, brave explorer. You've discovered a new galaxy. Collecting power stars will expand our range of vision. Perhaps to eventually include the enemy base. Alright, now we're done. See ya.